it kind of occurs to me that you could bring some of that feminine energy to the podcast. And mm-hmm. I think, but also it makes me wonder, would the fans really fuck with you in that environment or would it be a little bit difficult for them to understand? I don't know. Cause sometimes I don't think they're as woke as they think they are. And also I don't think that they think they're woke. Well, when I open their eye, mm-hmm. they'll be all right. Yeah. When I open their eye, they'll be okay. They'll understand what Tony's trying to bring to the table, right. what I've already brought to the table, and what I'm going to be given because I know what I'm doing. Mm. I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for about four years now. Mm. I've, this ain't my first rodeo. Right. You know, I've 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 actually had a podcast I did before. It was lit. You know, really? I, used, I used to turn I used to turn up. Yeah, I got a couple of, couple of shit I used to do. You know, uh, now the only difference between my podcast and your podcast is we used to be throwing down. Fighting? We, we be in there thumping. We be in there fighting. It, man, people be getting mad. I be telling their business, be, you know, doing all shit like that. You know what I mean? Literally people, fighting? Yeah, we was really fighting. I, you I got start into swinging so, on each other. Yes, I got into so many fights in my podcast. I would love to see that. Because yes. we had that happen one time, and it's like I'll never forget because everybody yes. talks about it still all the time. Yes, and that used to happen all the time at my podcast because I didn't give a fuck. Like, I used to just, if I'm going to talk about some tea or if I'm going to say something, I'm going to say it exactly how it needs to be said, meaning if your business has to get put on, you know, put out there, I'm going to do that. Mm. And if you get mad, you just have to pull up, we're going to have to run that. And people used to do that. I got into so many fights. I didn't got into fights with girls, <laughs> they, they, they boyfriends, they baby daddies, and a p- couple of people that worked in my podcast. They got into fights. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you. I really? got you. I'm going to show you. Yes. Wow. That sounds viral as fuck. Why haven't we seen any of this footage? You probably haven't seen it because you live way in L.A. and I mm. live way in Texas. But I feel like if somebody sent me a clip of some people that I don't even know fighting on a podcast, that we would probably post that because that's just... The kind well, I mean, of shit the y'all, world needs to see. y'all need to start posting me, period, my shit, period. Y'all always let my stuff just go past. But then y'all want to post this other little stupid ass stuff about them two uh, island boys <laughs> uh, th- 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 that nobody wants to see. Okay. How did you feel when you saw them making out with each other? Um, I just, it, albino kept popping up in my head. You think they're albino? I, I mean, wait, no. What's the word? The, the, What's the what? Are, what do they Incest? call the people that when you when you have sex with your family members and you have a baby that's what's the word retarded? Yeah, yeah, we retarded. But it's, it's, it's a <laughs> huh? Inbred. inbred. It, now it's something. Well, else. they might have already been inbred. Now it's something else. It's, it's something else. It's called a. It, it's, it's sometimes you're gonna be stupid. You're gonna be retarded. But it just it's just retarded. Just keep on popping up in my head every time when I think about the Island Brothers or the Island Boys. They just added another <laughs> cast member onto their little I thing. I saw that. Yeah, and, and he looked like he just there for the detention. And they're so casually sus now that when I saw the video of them introducing the new brother, the one Island Brother is just like cuddling his face up into his brother's neck and I'm just like what are you guys doing at first this seemed like at least you were doing it to turn up on OnlyFans and now it seems like you're just doing it because you just feel comfortable this way which this is something I said on the podcast before but fucking your brother is not normal within the gay community that is evil or any community that is horrible yeah that ain't even gay that's just you know what that's gonna be my first thing that I'm gonna do here at Jumpers I'm going to bring the Island Brothers here. Oh, I love that. And we're going to have a conversation, and I'm going to talk to them, and I'm going to preach to them and tell them why they need to stop doing that. Mm. We're going to go into all type of details of health issues. I'm going to bring up the charts. I need to see their my charts. You know what my charts is? No. My charts is— It's like Carfax? Okay, it's a Texas thing, I guess. Okay. It shows all your your STDs that you've had or any—if you've ever had any— health conditions or anything like that. I need to see their my charts. I need them to bring or records. I need to see if anybody called the police on them. Before. I need everything. We're going to get everything out. That's going to be my first take. I've had chlamydia and gonorrhea a bunch of times. Oh, yeah. I need to see your my charts. Damn. Okay. Yeah, you come too. Well, I'm in the porn world, so it's kind of part of the job. Yeah, well, I'll bring you some condoms. Oh, see, I ain't going to wear those. You have to start wearing those. You're in the porn world. No, in the porn world, we do not wear condoms. What? No. Oh, yeah, I, yeah my chart. I think I don't even need to see it. I already know. Listen. Wait a minute. Anal sex with a condom? Oh, you do anal too? Yeah, and I uh, can't imagine rocking a condom, a I Jimmy mean. hat for that shit. That shit hard to get in in the first place. If I got rubber around my shit, it's going to feel crazy. I had a feeling you did anal. Of course. Mm-hmm. I'm a top. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. It, it, it's given top. It's given it's very much given top. No, I'm a top, like a power top. I, yeah, I know. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. Little, shout out, little top. Yeah, uh, yeah big boy. top, big top, right here. Then we got. No, I'm boy. big top. You're right. Yeah, yeah. big top. The okay. big top circus. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Okay, never mind. We ain't gonna let you come in the room with the Island Brothers. But go okay, ahead. yeah. No, yeah. I mean, that's. I just don't think they understand how wild that shit is. Is you know, and I, I can't wait to talk to them because I'm gonna let them know that. But when I get done explaining to them how unbelievably disgusting that is, you mm -hmm. know, they'll. I think that they'll be leaving here with them lives. Their lives changed. But do you think? Okay, because I feel like this might be like the final frontier. We can accept people having a chunk of their arm cut out and turned into a penis so that they can get, uh, you know, gender reassignment surgery. Who accept that? Well, the trans community. Oh, okay. They got to get that dick from somewhere. You know, we can accept people getting mastectomies and getting their fucking tits chopped off at 15, 16 years old. We can accept Tony Woolrich presumably having a whole host of male sex partners over the years, but. It's difficult for us to accept people who are related to each other fucking. Is that not the final frontier of us being accepting sexually of other people's life choices? I guess now I feel how the Crips felt about me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with that. You don't? No. You don't think that'll ever be? Because, okay, I'm we're talking be, about two I'm, dudes. I'm finna be judgmental. I'm finna, I'm finna, yeah. I'm finna Listen, no offense to Josh, but if I was dating my own sister, Wait. Uh, oh, I knew it was something wrong with him, too. Go ahead. <laughs> if I was dating my own sister, I would understand if people looked down upon us socially, because then if we were to ever have kids, the kid might come out looking like an island boy or yeah, some shit. It, it, so that, I understand that. But if you have two guys who are brothers and they're fucking each other, I mean, there is no chance of them having a fucked up kid. So shouldn't we be accepting of that? No. Really? Why not? What is the so offensive about that? See, now you're a brick baby and I'm you. Mm-hmm. I told you. <laughs> I'm I'm finna be like I'm finna be that. Now I understand why Brick Baby did what he did. Right. Um, you know what? We we when the Island Brothers get here, I will handle everything. Well, because me and me and Vlad were arguing about this on I this saw podcast. You on Vlad. Yeah, because I was saying I don't think it's the government's right to interfere in anybody's sex life. And so if people want to be doing incest, I'm not saying that I'm cool with it. I'm not saying I would do it. But if you want to do that, who the fuck is the government? What, they're going to bust down your door and arrest you for fucking your family member? I mean, that just seems wrong to me. Well, I mean, nobody's doing that to them. Nobody, I don't think nobody's doing it, saying anything that they can't do it. And that's even but, worse because that shows that the police are selectively politic and they're only enforcing the laws that they feel like enforcing because there's incest laws on the books. Ron DeSantis, where are you? You need to pull up on the Island yes. Boys and stop this debauchery. Yes. Uh, now look, now that part I agree with you. <laughs> God damn it. Because you was up here trying to take up for that motherfucking ass a little bit ago. But now I'm letting you, I'm trying to get y'all to understand that shit is not right. That shit is nasty. Okay. I don't I'm I'm disgusted every time when I see that on, on jumpers, I, I keep going. Mm. Because I don't want to go back to the restroom to throw up. I don't that's nasty. Right. Uh, uh. No, it's definitely disgusting, for sure. But I also don't think the government should be breaking down your door and telling you what you can and can't do. Uh, enough about the island boy. <laughs> okay. I need everybody to check out NoJumber.com. We officially started a blog. It has in-depth articles about current events, music, etc. Plus all of our content in terms of podcasts, interviews, etc. And you can get some exclusive new merch if you check out NoJumber.com. So make sure you tap in.